the world's food supply has all been contaminated except for a wheelbarrow full of seeds. The Abeja Escorting Company has been contracted to safely escort these seeds through this path to a safe zone. The problem is that this safe zone is on the other side of the Deadly Valley, the most dangerous area in the world. Our story starts here at the Abeja Escorting Company. And I never looked at Tuna the same oh. way again. Abeja, the founder and chief of Abeja Escorting Company, earned a great reputation when his sword defeated the infamous evil genius and kung fu expert licorice legs, the man responsible for creating genetically modified fools and people. They'll scout ahead for us. Not only will the hero Mamordica help us, but so will his girlfriend the heroine, Lady Peaches. And Brother Sage and Brother Time are already ahead of us to clear the path of danger. We have been asked to transport the last heirloom organic non-GMO seeds in existence to a group of agriculturists on the other side of Deadly Valley so that they can propagate the supply without GMO influence. Keep a beha! This is the work of the GMO gang. Tell Mobodika, Lily Peaches, Brother Sage and Brother Time immediately that the GMO gang has given orders to steal the seeds. Sir. Sir. We must be careful on the road. Although we have a strong company and expert help from friends, the GMO gang is very cruel and highly skilled. With highly skilled help of the Seven Corpses, a group of genetically modified, reanimated Kung Fu corpses. But the most dangerous of all are the GMO Gang's four chiefs. The four GMO chiefs were genetically modified by the late Licorice Legs to be instruments of death. A chief number one is a kid who called them Rice. He's genetically modified with golden rice for skin, which is invulnerable to attack. Chief number two, Captain Obiad, known as a sugar cane. He wields a GMO sugar cane as a weapon. Chief number three is Durian Head. His head was bioengineered to be genetically modified durian fruit, which is very hard. Chief number four is Biff, the pesticide palm. He's genetically engineered to release a pesticide poison from his palm. The next part of this story takes place further up the road in the snow. Brother Sage. Brother Time. A brother Sage and a brother Time are young heroes in the making. Although they are very young, they are a reputation for being great kung fu fighters for justice. He is widespread. You know, these woods are looking dangerous. Yeah, a great place for an ambush. But we made a promise, you know, to scout ahead. And besides, it's not as dangerous now that Licorice Legs was defeated by Chief Abeja. Huh? Right, so we cannot turn back. But still, the GMO gang is tough. We will be ambushed for sure. And brother... Huh? I had a lot to drink. I need to be excused. Hmm. <laughs> Huh, 
I see. You must be the seven corpses. Now you must die. <laughs> My name's Biff, the Pesticide Palm. I'm GMO Chief Number 4. Where's the Chief of the Escorts, Abeja? And why has he sent you on ahead? Well, anyway, I don't fight women. You may pass. Hmm, huh. Very good swordplay. Huh, you are despicable. What do you expect from a criminal? All we want is to win. His name is Rico. His name is Rhubarb Rico. Agent Rhubarb Rico. His name is Rico. Delicious. His name is Rhubarb Rico. Hey, that's Agent Rhubarb Rico. I need to tell my boss right away. He's Agent Rico. In his hands of cocaine nuts. He eats his Rhubarb and kicks GMO. I wonder why the pesticide bomb left in such a hurry. Hey guys, let's get her. Yeah, oh, yeah, that lady yeah. Mm -hmm. and She's all alone. Right, come on, let's get her. Mm -hmm. And the whole Bob Rico notice. I thought I'd say they might eat his head. You must be pretty proud of yourselves ganging up on a woman like this. I tell you what, I will throw this coconut into the air. And before it lands safely in my palm, you all will certainly be dead. This, I promise you. Look! Get him! Hmm. <laughs> 
Sir. Sir. Sir, I scouted ahead and found that Brother Sage and Brother Time have defeated the seven corpses. It is very snowy up ahead, and it's very cold. Also, Lady Peaches was ambushed by the GMO gang and Pesticide Palm. But some drunk-looking guy carrying a coconut joined and helped her. Ah, uh, could it be him? Huh? Agent Ruba Rico. He appears to be drunk, but actually he is on a natural fructose high. He fights best when on a fructose high. That is why he is always eating fruit. He might just be our greatest hope in surviving this journey. Turn this up. This be my jam. Momodica Tarantia, also known as Mo, is an established hero with a splendid reputation for being the greatest swordsman east or west of the Deadly Valley. I was attacked by the pesticide palm. Nonsense. Uh, here's your high toe soup, sir. Uh. Why did you kill me, Scallywag? He drew first. That was highly unnecessary. Now I have to swap the deck. Come on, leave the girl. Let's go get the guy. Yeah. No, quit playing around. Let's go. You've been poisoned. Let's go. R, let him go. Get back inside. We have another customer coming. Hey, some fruit! Something sweet! Some service! What a waste! Huh, hey. You have a very hard head. You must be GMO Chief Number 3. Durian Head. Huh? I am he. I am Durian Head. What? You sugarcane? GMO chief number two? Hmm. You're pretty perceptive. Don't mess with the sugar guy. Sugar Hmm. 
Your skills be very first rate, whoever ye be. Therefore, you should join us. What say ye? I'll join you on four conditions. One, I need to be the number one chief. And the other, all the old members, they gotta go. They must be killed. Huh. Now remember my conditions. Go talk to your boss, that's Golden Rice, Chief Number One. It's only the sand palm. No, it's not! It's the pesticide palm! Nonsense. The skills I've learned, they'll save me. My internal control techniques can resist the poison. So, so, so you won't die? At least I'll live for two more days yet. Let's go get a doctor. No. You are incredibly selfish. Selfish? I made a promise to a friend to clear the way to deliver the world's last remaining GMO-free seeds at the peril of my own death. How is that selfish? You aren't doing this to help deliver the seeds, but to build your own reputation! And the pesticide palm works faster when you are active! And if you really love me, you'll want to live on! Are you seriously wanting me to choose you over this mission? And what you're really saying is that you pick your reputation over me! Come with me to see a doctor! And if you really love me, you'll come with me now. Huh? Hmm. Our heroes, both scouted ahead, have helped clear the path for the sea so far, eliminating the pesticide palm. Under seven corpses. Let's check in on the Beha, the escorts, and the seeds. And that's how I remove the cords on my feet. Oh, uh, oh, uh, help me, a Beha. Hey boss, I got the seeds. <laughs> He's getting away with our seeds! Eh? Huh? I believe that these seeds do not belong to you. We finally killed them all! I am Durian Head! Chief of Beha, the GMO gang wins again. They always get what they want. That is our motto. Chief of Beha, where's Brother Time? We could really use his help right now. Ah, uh, I saw him out in the woods. He was pinching a loaf. I am sorry to say we will have to fight him alone. Just the two of us. <laughs> Me, my sister. Oh, no, 
don't worry, you will be avenged. These men are all gonna die. But first I must secure the seeds. Kifabeha and the brother Sage together could not defeat other golden rice. What makes these three poor souls think they can do any better? Come out! Well now, it looks like this is my chance. You've been hurt by the pesticide palm, so you won't put up a fight. Hmm. If you manage to kill me now, it'll improve your reputation. Huh. That's right. I'd like that. Hmm. You won't make it, though. Well, I'll try! R, you can hold it there. You're the first one ever. And you're the first person whose weapon I grabbed who could still hold on to it. Makes us even. So then, you want to join us and become Chief Number Three? Oh, I see you already forgot my terms. Hey, Lady Peaches is coming. You ought to go. She and I, we'll kill you for sure. The swordsman and hero Momodica was nearly dead from the poison of the pesticide palm. But fortunately, Agent Rubab Rico whipped up a non-GMO Rubab Elixir, which cured more of the poison, which was thought to be uncurable. However, Momodica was awake furious at the Agent Rico, for he feared that his reputation would be blemished for having been saved by another man in front of his girlfriend.
Chief Abeja. We scouted the road about ten miles ahead, and along the road we found ourselves a small town. We could stay there overnight. Okay then, we'll stay there for the night. I know this town very well. We'll spend about five minutes here to rest our legs, and then in town we'll do karaoke. Brother Sage, Brother Time, I would like to thank you deeply for helping us to move these seats, and especially to Hiromo, who, although poisoned, continues to help us with his sword. Well, what are you waiting for? Let's get going now! Four escorts. These two young men, along with six others in their company, died before their time at this arrest spot. You see, the GMO gang knew that the escorts would be resting here, and they came here ahead of time to set traps of poisoned needles on trees and stumps, so that when the escorts would rest on them, they would die. Fatal. That evening, a the party, a brother sage, a brother time, a lady Peaches, Momorica, Chief Abeja, and the escorts arrive at a small town where they stay at night. The following is a private conversation between Lady Peaches and Momorica while in town. That Agent Rico is kind of a strange character, huh? Nonsense. When he saved your life. He didn't even tell me. He made a funny joke about selling your ashes for a poison. I'll see him dead for that. What? For saving your life? For belittling my reputation. Is that all you care about is your reputation? I swear, sometimes I think you only care for me because I lift your reputation. The next morning, Lady Peaches saw Agent Rico passing through town. Hello. What else do you do, besides consuming fruit and fighting the Chimo gang? Not much. At one time, I thought fruit was a man's only true friend. And now? Now, I realize that a good woman is just as good. A woman like you, uh -huh. that's right. you in on 20% of the loot. And if you don't agree, he'd like a duel. Good. And the place? And the time? At noon. At the Chi Lee Hill. It seems your boss thinks highly of me. You may see yourself out now. <clears throat> you hold it. You killed those men. I am arresting you. <laughs> I'd like to see you take these muscles down. <laughs> well, in that case, let's play a little game. If you can capture this coconut, I will admit defeat, and you will not die today. But if you cannot, 
Before you die, you'll be wondering how you could pull this coconut out of your... Well, I'll just show you! with the seeds are up to this morning. Sir, when we uh, took this job, we had 30 men. But now, uh, but, but now... Well, go on. Spit it out already. Uh, right, okay. It's like this. That gang, if they attack, they're, uh, we're sure that they'll kill us. We'd have no chance. So we'll leave. Oh. If they're scared, no point in keeping them around. Let the little babies leave. Uh, just go. Thank you. Uh, Maleficent can do many make sandwiches of your souls and uh, fire Jenny you from your yeah, blood. What did you can do? Use it to build that we can leave. Our space Hmm. You three stay with the seeds. Right. Brother Time and I, we'll scout ahead. <laughs> the road seems clear. That's right. We should tell the others. I feel strange. Yeah? Will the GMO gang ever launch a direct attack? Obviously, we are no match for Enrique, the kid of the golden rice. That's right. And Chief Abeja, who was famous for killing the bandit group the Dirty Dozen with his swordplay, is not much help either. Right. I saw him use his sword to finish off the Dirty Dozen. Something just isn't right. And what's more, is that it doesn't make sense that his slappy swordplay was able to defeat the powerful kicks of the legendary licorice legs. Huh, right. Golden Rice and Licorice Legs were equals. Abeja's sword defeated Licorice Legs, but was just mere child play against Golden Rice. Right. And still, that was with my help. This all just does not add up. Well, at least we have Agent Rico on our side. It is rumored that he has mastered the hand and shadow kick. A technique, when executed properly, can strike an enemy from as far as 10 meters away. Right. His kung fu is first rate. But the handstand shadow kick would not be enough to penetrate the skin of golden rice. Maybe he also knows the cartwheel carrot kick. It's true that the combination of these two techniques, which can be used to strike the enemy from a distance, would be impossible to defend against. However, it is certain that Ace Rico does not know the cartwheel care kick, since the finesse it requires can only be effectively executed by a woman. Hmm. Well, what about Lady Peaches? Maybe she secretly knows the cartwheel care kick. Again, not likely. Lady Peaches is barely 27 years old. The cartwheel care kick takes 25 years to master. She would have had to start practicing the technique the very day she was born. And besides, she wouldn't be strong enough to also pull off the handstand shadow kick. That takes the strength of an expert man. Brother, before we go back to advise the others that the path is safe, 
I need to relieve myself. <sighs> Missing your matey? You're looking a little lonely. <laughs> hey, sugar cane. What's with the eye patch? Did your baby sister give you an ouchy boo boo? Hmm. <sighs> Arr, quit messing around and end it. Back here so fast that all the bramble and bushes. Hey, Captain! How do you suggest that we get up there? Arr, that was a close one! Number two cheese, the sugar cane. Now, all that stands in the way is the number one chief. The golden rice. They did not die in vain. They took out sugar cane. But now, there's only the three of us. No, there's four of us. There's Agent Rhubarb Rico, too. Nonsense. The next time you want to see him, don't wait till I'm asleep. Because I don't care. How can you say that? Sage and Brother Time? They died killing Sugar King. Hmm. Momortica went that way to Chili Hill to fight Golden Rice. What? No! Why would you let him go? He's no match for the Golden Rice. Hmm. 
He is determined. He does what he wants. And what he wants is to build his reputation. I'd rather he live. Hm. Oh no. Paul Ma. He went all around to Chili Hill to fight the Golden Rays. Let's take a peek. The hero Mordecai attacking from behind. That's not nice. Grab your weapon. I need no weapon. Your sword play is good, I admit. But should you lose your sword, you're done. But my arms, they stay with me always. You lost your sword. Feeling a bit nervous? Heroes have to know when it's time to die. Come on, get up. <laughs> Go now. I'll give you three days. If I see you after that, you'll die. Remember what I said in town? Come back in two hours, and you'll take your revenge. has a sword. But look how he holds his sword. I think he knows not how to use it. Forget him. We're wasting time. Mm, right. Ah! <laughs> 
Still, I knew that. I knew that. His eyes. That he must be vulnerable in his eyes. What kind of poison did you spit into his eyes? It was an extract from a raw rhubarb leaf. Well now, we are almost to our destination. Only another 50 miles. Why don't you kill him now? And we'll be on our way. Well, he is blind now. So there is no point. His kung fu is useless. He cannot harm anyone now. But he is a criminal. Just look at him. He deserves to die. Ah! It was my plan all along, to eliminate all competition. I get it now, I see who you are. You're in disguise. Uh, you fooled everyone with that uh, dark wig. But you made one error. You are no master with that sword. Uh, uh, in fact, you have blonde hair. And that mustache isn't even real. Uh, you don't wear shades. You are... Uh, you are. That's right. I am. <laughs> I am the pangs of your hunger. The famine that destroys civilizations. The creator of GMOs. The supernova kicks of the South. I am licorice legs! <laughs> uh, the one thing I don't understand. Abeha, you uh, defeated the Dirty Dozen with the sword. And you are no swordsman. Yet, Brother Sage saw you finish them off with the sword. <laughs> That's right. I am no swordsman, but I didn't kill the Dirty Dozen with the sword. My skill is my kicking. I killed them with my feet and then sliced them up after they were dead. Now with you dying, Golden Rice blinded and soon to be no more. No one will stop me from controlling all the world's food supply. <laughs> no, Golden Rice. It is time to taste defeat courtesy of the legendary licorice legs. Huh? You are not hurt? Not at all? <laughs> you just sliced this bag of cherries in my pocket. I've said it all along. Fruit is a man's best friend. And in fact, it just saved my life. Thank you for letting me live. I will spend the rest of my days in retirement. Blinded, my kung fu is useless. Golden Rice's plans are noble. But Lady Peaches have other plans. <laughs> Oh. Hey. 
this. A cartwheel carrot kick. <laughs> and the handstand shadow kick. Never thought I'd live to see the day. And so the story is told, from generation to generation, how Arubaba Rico and his lady Peaches saved the world's food supply from the Gmo gang. Yes, they fought many more battles in their life against evil. But look at them. Have you ever seen a more happy people? After securing the seeds for propagation and distribution, Aruba Brico and Lady Peaches continued to battle the wrongs of this world together, happily, ever after.